Hello, Monsters of Banning, welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3 Shadows of Change in the second part of my first 75 turns of the Changeling. Obviously this will turn into a full campaign once I can. I haven't worked out how many how many videos I'm going to get out of this yet, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes, who knows. Indeed, so last time we, we managed to expand our cultists. Cult, cults? Cult, we've, we've, we've made a cult, it's great. And we set up a franchise in Lothurn. That was, what was his name? Gregor. Gregor Thorpe's on his holly bobs. Did a bit of, it was a bit of a working holiday. Um, didn't give him expenses, but there we go. He's dead now, so it doesn't matter. Uh, so we've managed to set one up in Lothurn, which is great because that is going to really boost the amount of, did I knock, I was knocking that down, wasn't I? Yeah, good. So we're going to, uh, the nice thing about this is it actually reduces discoverability, which makes it far less likely they're going to find us. Now, it does give Lothurn more money. That might be a problem later, but that's future changelings problems. Not mine. No, fuck that guy. So we're going to make as much money as possible. Uh, we're actually increasing the amount they make by 50%, which is good for them. And it's good for me because I also get that much good times. And we want to expand our cult. The only problem with going in Lothurn is that you can only expand your cult in two directions, because you can either go to the Tower of Lysan or the Vault Anvil. You can't hop across a watery gap. At least, that's what I think. I don't... I've never seen any expansion across a watery gap when it comes to cults. Or otherwise, I guess. We're currently hidden. I don't know if we can be spotted. I don't know how, how being spotted works when you're in ambush stance, to be honest. Like, am ambush percentage chance, yes. But the chance of being spotted is apparently... Eh? Unknown. No one knows how it works. I've never... I've even talked to developers. Not even they know how it works. So, mostly because I asked the question and no one ever responds. So either they don't know or it's such a terrifying thing to look into that they're just not going to bother. Okay, so our we're now re researching teleport, which gives us free teleportation, which is quite... What was that quest? Uh, research eight technologies. I mean... Of I can certainly do that. So, oh god, you've got 78 weapon strength. Is that because we've got the a brutal business? Yeah, okay. So, so what does that give? 20 plus 20. So you normally have 30. You normally have a lot more. Are you, so you've got slightly more defense, but then you also get... You also get Primal Fury. Which is more melee attack. But then you get Frenzy. Which is also it's more more melee attack. So I feel like I mean, these guys are shielded and they have more armor. The Forsaken are actually faster than Beastmen. I mean, these guys have done quite well. And I do like Beastmen. Alright, let's do something like that. We've got money now. We can spend the money on goods and services. Which is fun. I don't really... I mean, I've spent all my, all my money, but, like, what do I actually... What do I actually want here? Want, I want more money. That's what I want. Yes. I am changed. Um, tell you what I do need, kind of like ASAP, is is going to be the no this one, this one. There we go. That's I need a, I need a, I need a thousand monies for that. Uh, do we want to build that next turn or this turn? Mm, I'll build it this turn. Because. Indeed. So, the sooner we spread... The, the nice thing is that this increases discoverability, but that reduces it. So, we can we can sort of mix and match our parasitic and symbiotic buildings. Basically, we'll be symbiotic where it gives us cash and potentially our allies. But obviously, for the moment, we're just... Just trying to get more, more cash, really. Cash and resources. Tyranox dead. That is unfortunate for them. Okay, good times. So, what? I was going to go and deal with the Vasundites, wasn't I? Oh, hello. Oh, God, I would so love to beat up a caravan. I would, I would thoroughly enjoy that. 
Let's give you uh, uh, glittering robe. Right, right. Schemes, 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 schemes. Scheme. Right, yeah, we're going to destroy the Fasundites because that's going to give us arcane healing. We could then sack Altdorf. That could be fun. Fifty. We got, we've won one land battle. Seventy-five corruption in Castle Drakenhof is is doable. Winning 12 battles against dwarves oh, is, again, sense. doable. Can we not? Oh, we don't have enough winds of magic. We're dry. All right, never mind. In that case, seeing as we can just stay hit. Do, do we stay hidden if we cross borders? This is Kappelberg. Tappelheim is here? Okay, well, we'll find out in a minute. The problem is, if I become visible, I'm going to get my ass kicked. Well, potentially get my ass kicked. I could get some ogres. Do I want some? You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to get some ogre bulls. That's not how you recruit them. They do that. There we go. Going to get some ogre bulls just because I feel like it. Okay, I need more. Do I need more supplies? Kind of. Kind of like maybe, but. I mean, this this one would be nice because this one gives us more diplomatic relations with. It does cost money though. I'm like, meh. Yeah. I mean, cult supplies I do need, but I've got a reasonable number of them. So maybe I do that here. Mm. Tell you what, I'm just going to save my pennies and then I can get make more money. Oh, or try and expand my my franchise in Ulthwan. It's like McDonald's. It's a drive-through. Oh, did it! Holy shit! Good times. I bring fire. Noted. Let us. So we're gonna we're gonna we're just gonna keep expanding. It's all about expansion. I also want to upgrade to this, but I don't have a much. Right. So do, now, question, 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 question. Do we lose if we pass between regions where we would be hidden? No, I don't care. Do we maintain hiding? Where is it? Talabekla, the Scapelberg, Talapine. Right, I'll hidden there. Oh, no, it looks like it, it did work. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Good, 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 good. The now, the only problem is, I can't actually get across there, can I? No. I... That's nice. Together, what a phantasmagoria we make. Uh, yeah, no, it's a, it's a party. It's a party. <sighs> right, so basic... Oh, fuck. Okay, I'm going to... Right, right, because I can't get past that. It really should be, if you have a cult in your settlement, it just removes the... The thing. The what you would call it. The doobie what's it. The zone of control, that's the one. I've never really understood what zones of control actually do, apart from cause issues. I don't know why they're so married to the idea, but maybe it's like intrinsically inbuilt into into the Total War sort of framework. Kalador's dead. The shit. Holy crap! What the hell? Okay, apparently, uh, apparently the pirates are going for it, aren't they? Look at them. Wowzers. As Inspector Gadget would say. Okay, I need to. Cr I need to cross. Right, if I basically, I just don't want you catching up with me. It looks like you can catch up with me because you're not at war with these guys, so you don't have to worry about that zone of control. But I do. <sighs> okay, the other option is I just channel until I've got enough winds of magic to just teleport across the river. Seems like a massive waste of my time, but. If I if, if I if I march across there, you'll just like, to be honest. I can probably take you now. Like, do I have to be so worried about you? I think maybe I don't. I mean, I would like magic, but fuck it. You want me? Come and get me. Or leave me alone. Whatever you like. I don't mind.
Yep, he left me alone. Okay. Well, that is the question. I don't have any buildings in here. What I want is to, like, wreck you. Uh, that would take a thousand money. It takes ten turns, but it would... I mean, does, does a rebel army really help me very much? If I do this... An army loyal to the changing is summoned upon building completion. So that's going to take 10 turns. So that's like 12 turns, but it would give me an army down at hair gig. Also increases my discover. So I need to build something here to reduce my discoverability so they can't spot me. So what's going to reduce the discoverability the most? And how much money do I have? That's going to cost 250. So that's going to take two turns to build. That's going to take two turns to build. Right. I need at least... Oh, it seems like a lot of money, though. I could just burn it. Deceiver. I could just... I could just torch it. Alright. We're gonna go... We don't actually... We don't actually piss people off by trespassing, do we? So we can actually meander over here. And if I take out Brass Keep, then I suspect that... They'll basically be fucked. All right. Always That's my thinking. Let's. Yes, I would like more money. Of yes. Yes, let's do that. I have a clean conscience. Festus? Not aggression? No. No. I'm going to be very aggressive towards you, Festus. I need to kill you for my schemes. It'd be fun to watch the uh, the Elector Counts go and murder each other, assuming there's any alive by the time I get round to doing it. They're confederated, so I mean, by this point, um, how many Elector Counts are there still alive? There's these guys. <laughs> okay, there's Wissenland, there's Stirland, and there's the Golden Order. Oh, and Ostland. Okay, I mean, that's not that's not horrific. Don't mind me. I'm just, I'm just, vis I'm just, uh, I'm just, I'm lost. I took the wrong turn at Albuquerque. Don't mind me. What's going on over here? Tyrion, are you doing anything about this? There's a lot of vampires over here. Are you? Thank you. Are you doing anything about this, or are you just, you're not bothered? It doesn't seem like he's that bothered, to be honest. Are you, are you even at war with them? Oh, you are at war with them. Okay. Good. Do you... Yeah, you don't like me. You don't like the fact that Gregor... Not likely. ...heads planted into your into your city and set up a franchise. Okay, I want... I, basically, I need more cash. So, like, this. Because the more cash we have, the more buildings we can build. Okay, now we can teleport whenever we like. Beam me up, Scotty. All right, never mind. Um, right, is it, right. Is there anyone at? You're only at war with Sterling. Oh, fuck! What the? F what is it with the AI and their goddamn inability to declare war on each other? Sterling, where are you down there? Oh, you hate my guts as well, don't you? My hand hovers close to my. Yeah. Okay. Well, I was hoping to get someone to pay me to declare war on them, but uh, I guess that ain't happening. Oh well. Just have to do it the old-fashioned way. A valiant defeat. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, a little ask. We just need to take out Brass Keep. And then raise it, rather than put a cult in it, because we need to kill... Festus. And frankly, I mean, I would like to get someone else to kill Festus for me, but I know from experience that Festus almost never gets wiped out. So we need to weaken him enough, hopefully, for other... Not that he's at war with anyone, of course. I mean, you play Festus, and uh, you're literally at war with everyone within a 10-mile radius within about five turns. Okay, pouring the fire on, but it's doing very little damage. 
go so far as to say almost no damage. I mean, it certainly looks pretty, but it is almost entirely ineffective. It's like the opposite of that bit in Starship Troopers, where they think that it's just random... Who would the fuck would think they just shoot random light up into, into orbit? And then it hits a ship and they're like, oh, oh, I guess it wasn't. This is the opposite. This is literally... It's, it, it looks devastating, but it's it's not. It's, it's doing fuck all. However, the gate's down, which is... Well, it's al almost, 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 almost... It's, it's getting the... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Now it's down. Hooray! The gate is down, and our Zangors can flood into the city. Meanwhile, the Cockatrice, which is, I'm going to be honest, one of uh, the better units that we have available to us. Poor Blue Horror is still getting blatted by those cannons. Not much we can do about that. But they are out inside the city, so they can get some cover. Well, that's happening. We've got our ogres battering down. Don't they look good in turquoise? I was just going to say, amazing colour. They're currently smashing down the wall. I was hoping to, like, you know, get them locked in and then smash down the wall. I was like, yeah, that'd be cool. But I don't think that's going to happen. Still excellent fire coming in there from the burn. I wish the burning chariot just had more ammunition because it it never seems like it's, it's almost entirely useless once it's used its ammunition. And uh, yeah, it doesn't have much ammunition. So unless you've got like big bonuses to ammo, I don't really see the benefit. But that's just me. I've sent the Furies in to go and harass the Chaos Trolls. I don't think that's going to work out very well for them, but never mind. a lovely little attack on the back of that unit, but the Chaos Warriors realising the threats come down from the wall and I have to remove the flamers unfortunately. That wall is still, it's almost down. Come on boys, one last big push. You got it. Come on. Come on, break it down. There we go. Okay, now in you go and take those Chaos Warriors from behind. Trolls are really doing a number on us. Our forces fighting here are looking, uh, well, it's, it's not looking great, I'll be honest with you. However, we have uh, the rest of our forces coming in. From, they're now currently running like rings. It's like a it's like fucking roundabout in Swindon. Trying to lock down these Marauder Horsemen to stop them and uh, cut them to pieces. And once we've managed to catch them, we can then uh, race down to back up our forces trying to break into the city down here. Thankfully, the Cockatrice has arrived, so it can use its petrifying stare, which is going to remove melee attack from all of these guys, obviously making them a lot easier. Well, not, not easier to kill, but significantly less able to kill us, which then does make them easier to kill. The Sour Guts are up on the wall, finally. We're going to move them back over to the gatehouse here, and then we can rain pink fire down their little heads. Should be good times. And the Ogres have smashed into the rear of these Chaos Warriors. They do have a huge amount of weapon strength, which is helping against them. And uh, also they're being attacked by the Blue Horrors on the other side. So they are being cut down as they're getting attacked from both ends. The Zangor's now moving in to support the rest of our boys. The Flamers have managed to find another entree. And uh, I'm going to be honest, yes, it's a tangle of units. And yes, we're probably hitting our own guys, but I just like setting shit on fire. I don't care. Yes! Setting people on fire is the goal. If you set more of the enemy on fire than your guys, that's just a bonus. Okay, moving more Zangles in. We're using the Blue Horrors to try and pick off those Marauder Horsemen. And the Chaos Warriors down here still being pinned down by the Ogre Balls. Changing has even got... I mean, the Changing can't really do anything at the moment. He's just, like, sat there. Christ, what the fuck was that? What was that massive explosion? No idea. 
Either way, looks like the rest of the garrison have broken and we've taken Brass Keep. Flawless victory. Yeah, no problem. We lost some guys, but never mind. Oh, I really want to trick. Uh, I'm going to raise it. It does, doesn't it? Right. Can you reach me? You can. I can probably run away. Because you're definitely going to want to try and kill me, aren't you? Never mind. Uh, we could get Void Wrangler. But we don't have any of those units. Invulnerable through change? No. To be honest, what I need is for you to have some decent spells. I mean, both Zinch Firestorm and Infernal Gateway are amazing spells. But, uh, the f I mean, you know, Blue Fire is okay. Treason is meh. Gleam Magic is only good if they've got casters. Okay, I'm going to grab that one. <laughs> Such power. Well, I mean, it's not, it's not that good. D dial back your expectations, I would, Changeling. No, it's fine, don't get me wrong, but... Uh, hmm. Champions of Change, I mean... It's all characters. 50% extra experience? Would let us level up really quick. Change is progress. Yes. In, well... I mean, kind of. Okay, we've got 10k. We've got a big, a cool 10k burning a hole in my pockets. Let us... I kind of want to expand that. You... Is there anything else I want to build here that's actually going to be useful? I mean, I don't... I'm just kind of using Lothurn for the cash, and it is good for that. Absolutely not. I mean, well, you need to up your game, son. 189, pitiful. I mean, admittedly, it probably doesn't help because this reduces income, so... At some point, it might be worth switching up. But to be honest, most minor settlements don't generally make a huge amount of money anyway. Okay, let's go with that. Um, this will lower our discoverability, so that might be a good shout. It's also going to give us more cult supplies and stuff. So let's go with that. And we probably want, like, a recruitment building here, don't we? Maybe even a couple of recruitment buildings. Uh, do I want to increase? Well, no, not really. Okay, if I build that there, that'll, that'll, I mean, it's not that we actually need it. But how much money is him? Is, is, Heggy is making anything. Okay. Let's save the rest. Mostly because I think Festus is about to get a little bit shitty with me. I'm really hoping that Talib, that these guys aren't within range either, because they're not actually at war with fucking Festus just across the river. If you can just... Oh, you just left me alone. Fantastic. Hello, Dryker. <laughs> no. 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 Nice try, though. Oh, 250 Grim... I don't even know what I'm using Grim Walls for, so cut off the face. Cut off your face. Oh, we're hidden. Perfect. All right. Join me for some Schadenfreude. Let us... do something like that. Needs At least for the moment. Oh, I, do, I do like Final Transmutation. I just think it's neat. Right, if we can find Festus and beat the shit out of him, then we'll get... Is it, do we actually need to kill the Fasundites? Destroy the Fasundites? Jesus, not a tall order, is it? Christ. Yikes. Um, no, what was I thinking? I was thinking this, wasn't I? I was thinking... Okay, no. What is, where's Warriors of Chaos? 
where is the chaos? Festus. We can, if we beat up Festus, we'll get all of his stuff. That would be quite nice. So I would like, I would like to have Festus have his little. I guess we get his ability, don't we? So he gets his little, little like, oh, that'd be quite nice. Right, we need to find Festus and we need to kick the shit out of him. So I can wear his face like Face Off with Nicolas Cage, which is an amazing movie, regardless of what anyone thinks or says. Hello. Well, I found Festus anyway. That's good news, right? What a phantasmagoria we make. Indeed. The only problem is... The only problem is, you are going to be in real... Oh, well, no. But you might be able to kill me afterwards. I, I, I guess you're going for the brass keep. So if we just sit here... Or even if we, like... Mm -hmm. it's, it's risky, this. It's, it's very risky. So I'm going to just... I'm just going to chill here. I'm just going to chill. We make it... We go, what do we have Grimwall like? Because spread corruption. I can spread corruption to me. Where am I? There I am. Alright. I mean, I've got nothing better to do. May as well. May as well. Is this actually having an effect? I guess it will have an effect next turn. Mind you, you've got 16 from Plague. Oh, I've got Plague. Fortunately, it's not a bad Plague. That is the one problem with being next to Festus, is he does... It does tend to spread his cooties around. Okay, we are increasing... Oh, yep, no, it's going up, it's going up, it's going up. But more importantly, Festus has made his way to Brass Keep, and he's marched. That's a mistake. That's a mistake, but it says Valiant Defeat. Um, he does have a bunch of nasty units, plus he has himself. We need to kill Festus, ideally, ASAP. He's got, he's got two friggin' giants as well. That's bad news. Uh, what do I do about giants? I guess try and shoot them dead? We're good. We're, yeah, we we'll, we'll shoot but, I mean, I don't know what else we can do, really. Well, this is going to be a tough battle. I mean, he's got two giants. It's obviously Festus. And uh, most of his army is Chaos Warriors. <laughs> Not to mention he's got a uh, Exalted Hero of Nurgle there. And as we know, Exalted Heroes of Nurgle are literally the worst things to kill in the world. So yes, quite, quite the tall ask. But we will take them. So I'm currently... I don't know if this is the right choice, but the exalt... I was like, let's just try and take out or weaken one of the, the giants. Because I feel like the giant is going to be the big target for us. Like, trying to kill those giants. And a bilious thunder guff there needs to be taken down. So we are roasting. Holy shit, have they got tier 5 units now? Is that new? Have they done a pharaoh? He's a tier 5 unit. Look, he's purple. Holy shit! You don't have one. What about you? You're a tier four. Ooh. Ooh. Two, two, two. God, even the sour guts are two. Huh. Well, there we go. These guys are two. These guys are two. Big tier five. Big tier five boy. Okay, we have whittled him down somewhat, but it is costing us all of our ammunition. We've only got two shots left. However, his health has has decreased, so that's good. Trying to get some fire in those trolls as well, because I feel like uh, well, that might help a little bit. Even more, Moriob is helping out. Ah, oh, good shot. Okay, we've killed some trolls. Need to, need to get some of that fire on Bilius. Yeah, that's the stuff we need. If only we had more pink horrors. I should have, like, built the building to get more pink horrors. That's what I should have done. I didn't. Never mind. We don't need pink horrors. Where we're going, we don't We don't need pink. I've got damage reflection on them. That's going to stink. 
Never mind. All right, we're pouring the fire onto Billius Thunderguff. He is uh, and final transmutation. Bring him down. Meanwhile, the other giant is currently chasing our flamers around. I don't know. <laughs> he kind of like just wandered through our lines without even looking. And look, a normal chaos giant. It's only three. Three tier three. Huh. The marauders are chasing him, but he's really fixated on getting them flamers. I mean, fortunately, the flamers can move faster. So uh, we should be fine. The poor Zangor's a little bit surrounded there, but they're currently holding their own fairly well. They're quite tanky. And Bilius is down. Healing elixirs or no. Okay, the Cockatrice is currently uh, not really a good place for him to be. He's currently fighting a bunch of doggos. Not ideal. Uh, we've managed to lock down the other Chaos Giant. So we're trying to pour the fire onto him while the Marauders keep him busy. That exalted hero has managed to break his way past the Ogres and is now heading for our flank. The Furies are hanging around trying to find a good spot. But of course, as soon as they charge in, they're probably going to die. So uh, they're pretty much a one-shot weapon. Well, that missed. Oh, or not. I st stand corrected. It didn't miss. Festus is getting roasted. I've got the change in there trying to keep him busy. God, I hope the changing's fire resistant. I don't think he is. Okay, Festus taking a lot of damage from that. And we're concentrating fire on him as well, trying to bring him down. Our left flank is collapsing a little bit. But fortunately, we've got blue horrors which can now move in and try and uh, stop that, if we can just not set fire to them at the same time. Thank you. Aquadrius helping to deal with these Chaos Warriors, and the Flamers have managed to uh, shake off that giant and come in to try and help, but they need to get in a good position. Fortunately, they're pretty quick. Fury's attacking from the rear, trying to get some rear charges in on those Chaos Warriors with any luck. Uh, the Sour Guts trying to bring down that giant, but uh, Samuel's back. I don't really have any way of dealing with him. Fortunately, Festus is on the retreat. Look at him go. He's out of here. Come on, finish him off. Roast him alive. I think is it makes him weak to warp fire, and then this actually does warp fire. Basically, they just make themselves do more damage. Oh, he's so he's almost there. Just one more volley. How many volleys do you have? Four. Yeah, that's fine. You can spare one to to kill the enemy general. Down he goes. Okay. The enemy general's dead. That giant's at half health. One of the other giants is down. We've got more blue horrors moving in from behind. And the Furies are kind of just chasing those... Uh, the, the Chaos Warriors of Nurgle with great, great weapons. I'm not so great about them. All right. Now we've got a lovely flanking shot there. Line them up, boys. Oh, yeah. That's the stuff. Uh oh. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Oh, God. Okay, I've got the changeling and more... more M Mighty Morbing Orb Keeper. Trying to keep him busy, and the Sour Guts just pouring the fire on. Some of our units retaining to fight. Most of Nurgle's forces have, uh, also Festus's forces, have been either defeated or routing. We've just got a little, little blob here left to finish off. And of course, Samuel, who is. Uh, Still, still rolling around in his chariot, causing all number of issues. Ah, the giant's down. Right. Let him up. Let him up. Let him up. Uh, okay. Oh, thank God. Yeah, there he goes. He's uh, he's running away. And of course, because this army was marching, they're all dead. It doesn't matter. Don't need to chase him down. Well, there we go. Managed to, to deal with that. Got ourselves a new face to wear, which is lovely. Devour captives. Do I want to devour captives? Do I want them? I'm going to take the money. Oof. I mean, that was... Uh, I'm not going to lie. 
a little bit, a little bit tough. A little bit tough, but we did it. I'm going to do that because I would like more wins of magic. Right, so we've got new form. We've got Festus the Leech Lord. We've also got Doctor Retired. So we've got Vig Loss Reduction and Casualty Replenishment Rates. Which is nice. Now, once we've wiped Festus out and having killed Festus and taken out Brass Keep, I think... Okay, they do have Middenheim, which is another Dark Fortress. However, at least... At least we've taken out their capital? So we can... Why do I have Scrag? Okay, don't... I <laughs> don't know why I've got Scrag, but I'll have Festus. What the fuck? Okay, never mind. Uh, right, well, we'll have we'll have Festus, because I think Festus um, is a... There we go. Assume for battle. Good times. Good times. And we got big money prizes as well. Oh, looks like Tyrion is actually... Getting shit done. Good job. Kind of like... The, uh, the only problem with spreading cults in Ulth 1 is that you can only really spread it one way. Which is uh, a slight problem. But we will, we will spread it all the way around Ulth 1. Up to... I mean... I don't know... How a cult of Zinch is going to do... In a... In a... Nakari held... Settlements? Maybe, you know, you're reading a book while getting a reach around? I don't know, maybe. Who knows? Anyway, the important thing is that we're on our way to beating up Festus. But that is going to have to wait until next time. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Many.